Hello and welcome to In Our Schools. I'm Katrina Heeman. Our music teachers and administrators have been working together for the past several years to develop a new instrumental music program with hands-on learning and a team teaching approach. We're here now with Naomi Palmer and she is one of the instrumental teachers here at Hoover Middle School. Now will you please tell us what this new model of delivery looks like in the classroom? What this looks like is we have two teachers per classroom and there's a couple different scenarios. We could have one teacher on the podium teaching the large group and another teacher pulling kids out for lessons. Or something else we've done is we have one teacher in front of the large group and the other teacher playing with the kids in the large group. And so they're getting large group instruction and small group instruction at the same time. So we can pick out the students who need more help or we can pick out the students who are so advanced that they need something more challenging. Absolutely. And that's been really beneficial. I think that our students have progressed faster than they normally would. They get more attention, they get more questions answered. It's been really great in that, in that way. We feel like we can connect to our students better. We're here now with Ken Henze, one of the instrumental music teachers at Hoover Middle School. <laughs> Thanks for talking with us today. You're welcome. What have you noticed about student growth with this new team approach? Now that we see the students every day, we don't have the issues that we had uh, previously when we could only see them twice a week. If there are students who need extra help because we have a team approach now I can pull them out or Mrs. Palmer can pull them out and take them aside while I conduct the full group. The lessons are done a little more informally but uh, it's more efficient way to teach and since we see the students five days a week, um, they are really getting much more instruction. They're much farther ahead of where they would have been in the previous method that we used. Part of the real benefit for the students is that um, they don't feel like they're falling behind in their classes. We're here now with Ashton Reams, one of the instrumental music teachers at the George Washington Carver Academy. Thank you for letting us come in and observe your classroom today. You're welcome. And we wanted to know from you what feedback you've heard from colleagues and others on how your students are progressing with this team teaching model. The faculty and students have been so impressed this year with the product that they're hearing from the music room, the band room. They are actually saying that they hear music coming from the band room and the winter concert had a record number of people that came and they were totally impressed with how the students are doing. Um, they want to see it grow even more so we're really really happy about this. And honor band, have you had more involvement in honor band this year? We had several eighth graders that went and they had a good opportunity and learned and it was a good representation for our school. How is this team teaching approach helping you meet the needs of your students? We're able to get more contact time with our kids and students can have lessons while uh, my other co-teacher is working then I can pull kids out and do lessons and then vice versa. And it's really nice to piggyback off of different ideas and different approaches. His expertise is in brass and mine is in woodwinds, which makes it even better to teach and help the students because we both have our strengths and weaknesses. Now this year, now that we have two band instructors, uh, it's easier so if one's gone, then the other one can teach or one can be working with certain students and then the other teacher can be teaching the rest of the band. I like it because of the because I can keep up how so I won't get, see keep up my playing so I won't get rusty at any time. Well in elementary I only met up only about three times but now I can actually play every day, practice every day so I can keep up my, my skill so I can become a better player personally. We always practice as a big band like out there, but sometimes like when we had our solo festival, um, our teacher took us in either one or groups of two or three and we practice our solo in there. And also we use smart music sometimes. I remember last year when we got pulled out of class and that wasn't fun because we could miss something in another class and we'd have to do it in our own time. It's a class, so then I can I can do have my schoolwork separate from my music. Through band, you're able to see the same kids every day, and that builds new friendships. As you can see, the team teaching approach allows for optimal hands-on guided instruction. It allows the teachers the flexibility to differentiate. Research has shown middle school students have needs for acceptance and belonging. We see this model fitting the needs of the adolescent learner. 
by providing more guided instruction time, and by providing a quality peer group experience as students transition to high school and beyond.